Hey guys, it's Zach here. Um, sorry I haven't had a video out in a little bit. Been real busy, had a bunch of stuff going on. I've had basketball practice, um, homework, everything. Haven't had time to, you know, go out looking for Hot Wheels or any RCs or anything. So, um, here's something I've been doing in the meantime. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing. Uh, I don't think I ever showed you guys this truck on YouTube. Uh, this is a Sin Racing Fun Factor MT2 truck. Uh, this was, uh, they, they made it about maybe seven years ago and then they discontinued it uh, due to engine problems and stuff, which I also had issues with. Um, I'll tell you about that here in a few minutes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, what I've done to it. it. used to be gas powered, but I converted it to electric. They didn't make any kits, so I had to make my own. Um, I'm going to show you guys first. This was the exhaust pipe that was originally on it. Um, this was dented up. The guy who had it before me unscrewed the top and took something out and also kept um, compression out of the engine so it didn't go go too great. Uh, so that, that was the exhaust pipe. And the engine was this VX16 engine. And uh, the pull cord broke on it. I had a replacement but it broke too. It's a really small engine for this truck. And um, I'll tell you the reasons why here in a few minutes when I get uh, to the truck. It was a two-speed, so it's got the on the uh, bell crank. It's got the or not bell crank. Yeah, the clutch bell. Uh, it's got the two gears on it because it was a two-speed. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the body here. Show you guys what I did. I still need to get a steering servo in it, but I'll show you guys that here in a second. So. I upgraded the shocks on here. Well, they really aren't upgraded, they're just a little bit better than the ones that were in it before. The ones that were in it before were terrible. The truck suspension was bad, like it would not do good at all. So now I've got it to where it's it's pretty stiff in the front, but it's not so much to where it bottoms out. Um, it's got metal dog bones here. It's got metal uh, push rods here too. It's got the aluminum lower chassis and the aluminum upper chassis here, aluminum shock towers, and so you can see all this stuff is aluminum metal and the plastic is real bulky, so it was really, really heavy for this little engine here, which is only that big, to push this whole truck. And um, that is a little bit bent there, but it's, it really has no use now. That's where the gas tank set when I had it on here. Uh, this is a custom battery tray. Um, I took some plastic and used a Dremel tool and Dremeled it to the shape I needed it and then I screwed it onto the bottom and there's a screw here that I put a pin in that holds this rod which the battery will slide up in here which works on that and then in the rear here you can see the metal camber um, rods and the shocks are the same in the back except that it's a little bit springier in the back a little bit softer metal uh, dog loads in the back here. I need to get new tires, but actually I'm not even going to get new tires for it because I'm going to trade it off here in a little bit. You all will see a video on that. I'm about to get a bunch of RC stuff if I can be successful in this trade. Um, so basically what I did was, is this whole mounting thing here where the motor's mounted on, the motor mount, um, I did um, the video, it was um, RCSCT run and that was a red cat truck and I ended up um, pretty much destroying that truck driving it too much and it just started falling apart and it got to the point where it would be too much to even fix it I can go buy me a new one so I didn't even bother about it I just ripped this off and put it in here that spur gear is the same so uh, you can't really see that spur gear um, I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna turn the light on and I'll be right back alright guys I'm back yeah it is pretty dirty um, but uh you can see that spur gear there, and then there's a little spring behind it, and then there the out drive that goes to the center drive shaft, which is on the other side. Basically what I did was I put that spring on there to keep the spur gear from pulling back, and then I had to drill a bigger hole in the spur gear and put a new pin in there to keep that uh, spur gear on there. And um, I put a big bearing on there too, brand new bearing so it works. That's 11 tooth uh, pinion gear. This is a Traxxas Valenian motor and a Hobbywing 80 amp ESC. Uh, I don't have a strong enough steering servo yet for it, um, but I have a servo I'm going to give the guy with it if I'm able to get rid of it and trade it off. Um, a few more modifications we had to do to it are underneath it. 
Um, I had to take out a couple of screws in the front. I'm not sure where they are. I think, yes, yeah, these two here. And I had to take out these over here to successfully mount everything on it. I had to drill out part of the chassis all right in here to keep that spur gear here from hitting the bottom of the chassis. And this here is a really thick chassis. Uh, you can see how thick it is right there. There's a... Uh, there's my finger compared to it, so it's pretty. It's a pretty thick uh, chassis. It's never going to break. Um, but yeah, that's the Sin Racing truck as of right now. Y'all probably won't see any videos of it running. I just thought I'd show you guys what I've been doing in the meantime when I had spare time. Um, it's a really, it's a real heavy truck. So it's taken a while to get everything like the motor wise and stuff. I've had to figure out the gearing on it because it, the motor was getting hot. But that's what I've done so far. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share videos. I uh, should have a second video up following this one, which will be the RC trade, which includes that boat, this truck, another car. And uh, y'all should see it sometime. So uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And thanks for watching.